Welcome back to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Wi-Fi battle. Today we're going to versus Blitzer from the Discord server in the underused tier. Let me know who you think is going to win based on the teams you see on screen right now. And with that being said, let's jump straight into the battle. And the battle begins. Good luck, have fun Blitzer. So they're going to lead off with Frostlass as I expected as we lead off with our Sizzle. So not a bad lead for us. So what we can do straight away is we can just go for a B... Ah, I went for a Swords Dance. I went for a Swords Dance by accident, but it's fine. Um, BP, Swords Dance, whatever, it's, 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 it's what it is, it's what it is. So they withdraw the Frostlass, which is actually more beneficial to us because we went for a BP, and they're going to go into I, I Wow. I Wow, and that's going to be the Hitmon top. Nice and shiny as well, gotta love it. We go for that Swords Dance, and now we're looking pretty good right now. With a Swords Dance Scizor, we are really, really good because they could have burned us there. So I got pretty lucky in that regards. Um, so let's go for a BP just because it's a Hitmon top. We may as well go for a BP. Plus two, why not? And it cleanly KOs the hit on top, which is amazing. So Scizor already putting in the finest of work, which is absolutely fantastic. Scizor actually runs through their entire team, which is crazy. So I'm wondering if they can pull this back. So in comes Staraptor, which is probably going to have Intimidate if they're bringing it in, right? If it's, got a, if it's bringing it in, no, no, no Intimidate. We go, they could Terror. Let's go for the BP anyway. Um, let's, let's go for the BP real quick. So we go for the BP. They don't terror, which is interesting. So they go ahead and go. They don't go down to the bullet punch. And that Brave Bird is going to nearly take out our Sizzle, which is absolutely amazing for them. But the recoil is unfortunately going to take out the Star Raptor. How did Star Raptor live a plus two bullet punch from a Sizzle, though? That's the real question. Like That's a bulky, uh, a bulky Star Raptor right there. <laughs> In comes Breloom. Now, Breloom can probably finish us off with a Mock Punch here. I am going to let it do it because we won't really... Yeah, Mark Punch comes through. That's going to take out our Sizzle. So, with Sizzle out of the way, looks like they have a better chance here, which is bad for us. Really bad for us. So, let's go into Ninetales. I think Charizard can put some work in now. Um, so, we'll go into Ninetales real quick like so. Get that Drought up. So, our opponent was off to a bit of a rocky start. They got Bullet Punched uh, twice by Swords Dance uh, Scizor, but um, unfortunately for us, they did take us out of a Mark Punch. So I'm going to go for that Fire Blast just for the clean KO on the Breloom. They probably switch into Lycan Rock if I had to guess, and if we could get the burn on the Fire Blast, that'd be absolutely amazing. So they are going to Terrastalize. So what are they going to Terrastalize into, though? That's the real question. Is it going to be Terra Rock? Terra Rock would be pretty neat with Rock Tomb. It's Terra Fire. So Terra Fire is a pretty good one as well. It's going to be resistant to the Fire Blast. Resistant to the solar beam, can't get burned, you name it, it's got it. So we go for that fire blast, it should do, still do some decent chip damage in the sun, it does. And um, not even a crit, as we, they go for a swords dance, which is unfortunately going to be very detrimental to our uh, Ninetales right now. So mark punch from that thing is going to really sting. Um, I could go Donphan here, really could go Donphan, and then into Charizard expecting a bullet seed. So I think I'm going to go Donphan first. Just get the Rocky Helmet chip, and then we go into the Charizard, um, who's Fire Blast in the Sun, under Solar Power, and the Stab are really going to sting. So they go for that Mark Punch real, real quick, which does a lot of damage to us. A lot of damage, to be fair. But now they're going to go for a Bullet Seed, so we're going to go into Charizard real quick. Charizard should be able to take care of this thing, and fight, like I said, Fire Blast is going to sting really hard in the Sun. So we'll go into Charizard like so. There we go. As they go for that bullet seed, which is going to sting a little bit. Not too much, though, because it should, I'm, I'm guessing they're technician. Um, and I'm guessing they're loaded dice as well. By the way that they're getting at least four hits here. So there's got to be loaded dice. But they only get four hits, which is great. So now we get the solar power, unfortunately. We can go for a fire blast. I'm going to go for the fire blast. And if we miss the fire blast, I'm going to be really annoyed. So they go for that mark punch, which is enough to take us out. So bullet seed, wow, that's a powerful Breloom right there. So Breloom actually takes us out with a bullet punch, which is really unfortunate. So we need to go into something that outspeeds, and uh, not only outspeeds, but can also KO. So I'm going to go into my Azelf. Azelf can go for a Psychic here, um, which will take out the Breloom. So there we go, Azelf comes in. Charizard once again not getting to do much this game. Let's go for that Psychic real quick. So they withdraw the Breloom, probably to go into Meloetta if I had to guess. Um, and they do bring in Meloetta the Gourmet. And there we go. Meloet is a really cool Pokemon to see. So we go for a Psychic. It's boosted by Choice Spec, so it should still, still do no damage, which is great. Um, now we basically have nothing to hit this thing with except from Donphan. So we're going to have to go into Donphan because I have a feeling they're going to be a Calm Mind variant and Meloet is going to make the most epic comeback ever. 
um, right now. So let's see what this Meloetta wants to do. They do go for a Hyper Voice, which is unfortunately going to take out Don Fang cleanly, which tells me they may be choice specs. We will see, though. We will see. Now, what do we do? Um, let's go into our good old QB over here. And unfortunately, we're not soundproof on the uh, Como. So we're going to have to go into this thing. And uh, I'm basically just going to go for a Fire Blast here. And if they go for a uh, Calm Mind, we'll just go for an Encore and lock them into that, basically. So we go for that Fire Blast, which should do a decent bit of chip. Not too much, though. As they go for a Psychic, they are not choice specs. That Hyper Voice is just overpowered. And that's going to 2 it KO us. So that's unfortunate. So um, what do we do here? Uh, let's go for another Fire Blast for a start while the sun's up. Take advantage of it. Get as much damage off as possible. So Fire Blast comes through, which is great. That's going to do no damage still. But we do get the burn, which is really clean. Really clean. And then they go for a Hyper Voice, which is obviously going to take out Ninetales. So Ninetales does go down, but it did a good amount of damage to the Meloetta to the point where I think we may be all good. So the Harsh Sunlight does fade, which is great and all. For who? I don't know. Um, now we can go as Elf and we can U-turn on it, and that should KO it. Or, because yeah, here's the thing, Azelf does really well against the rest of that team. Really well. So I'm going to go Como now. And we need to get Como to make an epic comeback here by going Terra Normal. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to Terra Normal. I'm going to go for that Clangorous Soul. And I'm going to get my Omni Boost. And that's going to help us, really. So there we go. We're going to Terra Normal to be neutral to the Hyper Voice and the Psychic um, real quick. And as long as they don't predict this and go for a Focus Blast, we should be golden. They may predict this, though. They may predict this, though, but we should outspeed them anyway, so we'll get the Omni Boost and we should live a hit. So there's the Clangorous Soul, which is going to give us an Omni Boost real quick. And it's also going to do a little bit of damage to us, which is unfortunate, but, like, the Omni Boost is kind of worth it. So let's see how this plays out. So there we go. Oh, there's our Omni Boost coming through. And then they're going to go for what exactly after we lose some HP? We get the Throat Spray as well, which is great. And then they go for a Psychic, which is going to do a lot of damage. Not enough to KO us, though. Not enough to KO us. However, they do have the Breloom in the back, which is the unfortunate part about this. So, um, let's go for that... Uh, let's go for the Boom Burst. Let's go for the Boom Burst. Boom Burst comes through. Because I don't want to go for a clangorous, uh, Clanging Scales because it lowers your defense. I'd, li I'd like to keep the defense boost just in case we can live a Mock Punch from the Breloom. Since it is loaded dice, after all. There's the Breloom. Breloom comes in cleanly. Looking amazing. We're going to go for a Boom Burst now. Because why not? I really don't think we live this. But no, we don't, unfortunately. So maybe we were better off going for something else there. Maybe we're better off not going for the Clangorous Soul. Maybe we should have KO'd the MLO outright with Clangorous, uh, with, with Boom Burst. Um, and save the Terror for after the Breloom. But it is what it is at the end of the day. So we go into his Elf now. And it's all down to his Elf. Can his Elf save the day? The Meloetta is down. Big fry out of the way. Breloom should go down to this next Psychic. If we want to lock ourselves in Psychic. I think Psychic's the best move to go for here. So we'll go for it. And hopefully the Frostlass A doesn't have a move to KO us. And B, we don't get Cursed Bodied. That's, that's basically all I can hope for. So we go for the Psychic on the Breloom. That's going to cleanly take that out. The Lycan Rock, on the other hand. The Lycan Rock, on the other hand, may not... Hmm... I don't know. It really depends what set they are. If they're Focus Sash on the Lycan Rock or not. To be fair, they're probably Focus Sash on the Frostlass anyway. So Frostlass comes in looking amazing. Love Frostlass. Got to love to see it. Let's go for that Psychic because we are locked in with Choice Specs. Um, and we'll just kind of hope for the best here. So we go for the Psychic. It should take them down to the Sash. It does take them down to the Sash. They are Sashed. We get Cursed Bodied here. Will we get Cursed Bodied? We do get Cursed Bodied, unfortunately. And they go for a taunt. So, I'm not sure why they're taunting there. Maybe they expected us to go for a nasty plot or something. Um, but we are unfortunately locked into Psychic. So, we're going to have to go for a struggle here. As there we go, struggle comes through. But it does KO the Frostlass, which is amazing. So, Frostlass is down. And now all we have left is <laughs> Lycan Rock. And this is Azelf's giant struggle against their team. <laughs> So in comes the Lycan Rock, and we're going to try and struggle our way to victory here, but there is no doubt in my mind that we are going to fail miserably. So we'll go for a struggle real quick, as um, there we go, struggle comes through, and unless we get a crit and it's a max damage struggle, which it's not, recoil is more than the damage we're doing. They go for a crunch, and that's going to take out Azelf no problem, and that's going to be the game. So it's a pretty close one, 
pretty close one. I enjoyed that one, actually, because it looked like they were going to lose straight away to the Scizor. But the Scizor ended up going down to the Terrifier Breloom. And, like, they ended up pulling it back really well there. So that was a really good, good game, Blitzer. I enjoyed that one. GG. But anyway, here is the team. Try it out if you want to. Use the code at the top right corner of the screen. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you did enjoy, of course, leave a like, subscribe, all the wonderful stuff. And with that being said, I'll see you all in a bit.